Which is a no-brainer because the meat does give us food. Um, we should get a, uh, a tech that lets us salt meat, which there is one in the uh, the Age of Blood. All right, we're saving up for Night March. You know what? I'm going to just use this heal here. Oi, you jackasses. I mean, I'm hoping you still have units here. Yeah, they're slightly injured, but they're still fine. Okay, good. <clears throat> All right, let's outpost here. Boop. So yeah, we can revert to Pioneer. We can change linked region, although right now it's linked to New York, which sounds pretty good. Um, and yeah, we can go and build trading posts on these tiles. Generate additional goods. <clears throat> and we can enter, we can just um, absorb this later and just get a bunch of extra tiles in New York. Uh, later on, we can also specialize the outpost. But we need some, some tech and some things to happen before then. News from abroad, Zulu and Rome are at war. Well, that's very convenient to have my enemies at war. So if we kill these guys, we should be able to go into the Age of Blood. Okay, they didn't actually die. They'll die probably next turn. And then... Actually, I think we probably burned down Alexandria. It's too close. Wouldn't be a civilization style game if the AI didn't ruthlessly forward settle you, right? Smash. <clears throat> Alexandra's name famous for burning. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, let me move you into friendly territory for now. Heal up. We'll have you meet up with Alexandria as well. So you are going to smash here. We might lose one of our units. There you go. The Blood Age crisis upon us. If our nation controls the future, it'll be written in blood. So, okay. See, here's the thing. Rome, I think that's Rome, right? Is working towards the Age of Iron. Which is a little bit annoying. Because 10 turns we can get the Age of Blood. They are predicted in five turns they will start the Age of Iron. Womp womp. So it took us a little too long to get our Age of Blood going, so I think we're just going to get an Age of Iron. Oh, Spain. Yeah, I just saw the red flag with a golden thing on it, but no, yeah. The Laurel Reefs is Rome. The horny one is Spain. Spain is horny. So since we can't um, Age of Blood and, you know, get the war thing there, we're just going to go ahead and, and declare war. All right, minus 50 Rome diplomatic opinion towards the United States. Sure, fine. Minus 25 barbarian diplomatic opinion. Okay and plus 10 unrest in New York. I'll probably wait a turn to do it. Just get ourselves in position here. Yay, Night March. Raiders get more movement, more Raider bands for free. Don't mind if I do. So New York's got that. You have a little bit of unrest that generated from the event. Right now it's negative because we do have garrisoned units there. If we moved out, actually the unrest would go up, but very slowly. I think it's fine for me to go and consider moving these units out here and get them closer to the front. Maybe even replacing... You know, Spearmen are about as effective as the Raiders. Spearmen have a little less attack, a little more defense. They don't move as quick, so if I want a fast-moving unit, I'd like to set up with just pure raiders. Well, we'll move you up to the front. You'll be available, and that's going to be okay. And actually, what I can do with these guys, some fast-moving raiders, I can have you join over there. Maybe I'll do that, and then I can leave these spearmen to just defend Belfast, because it's sort of on, on a front with no vision, so there could be a bunch of barbarians over there. Don't think I noticed? Don't think I noticed what? Oh, yeah, we might be able to speed up the Age of Blood with the Eureka. However, we need three turns before that culture kicks in. Yeah, 
Yeah, we got beat up here, but oh well. That was to try to force the Age of Blood. <clears throat> okay, units there, units there. Well, I think we just move in. I'm going to click this to make more raiders. We're going to just like aggressively fire this off as quickly as possible. There you go. More raiders have shown up. I guess we'll have you merge here because this whole stack won't have any movement and that's going to be okay. Switch tech? What do you mean switch tech? I mean, I switched out of community. We still want to advance the age. I guess I could be like, just finish community, but we'll leave the age of blood in here and then we'll see. Spear to the South army. Yeah. Just to reinforce it right now with this army, how would you look? Yeah, not great. Okay. I'll pull back. I'm not even concerned with taking Sozu right now, but yeah. Okay. I'll start sending a spear down there and we'll see what we can do. You chill over here. Declare war. Actually. I'm going to take these two raiders, move them here. Take you into here. Then this army is going to hit the city. <clears throat> Vikings doing Viking things. Hey, no walls in these cities. I think the neutral cities default to having some walls, but of course the AI, and there's a brand new founded city, they got to build it. We didn't well, want that war. They settled too close. Right, they started it by settling next to us. Exactly. Ah, didn't quite get it this turn. I think we had to, oh no, there it is. I don't know why, you don't have to kill them all. I don't know. Regional capital conquered. Oh, we don't get the, uh, we don't get the option to burn it down. It is generating 20 chaos per turn, though, so we're definitely going to be getting towards a chaos event. This innovation event, again, I'll probably take cash because I think we're going to generate a lot of chaos doing this and we're going to have to just spend our way out of some problems. They broke and rank. Oh, they ran out of morale. Yeah, OK. These uh, cavalry units do have a retreat ability. Salt their lands. Spawn scout, reinforcements, right for the insta heal, although we can't use it inside of an enemy border. Um, you know, I don't think we need to finish it to do reform. I think we'll just be on the next age. Okay. There you go. Innovation viciousness. That's the kind of innovation we have. The Raider bands in the United States are feared by all other nations due to a ferocity that borders on madness. We accept our Raiders get plus three attack, plus three defense. That's a lot right now. I'm worried. Can we have enough money? We're going to be able to deal with the first chaos event. I'm worried about the second one, but... That's a really strong boost. Holy crap sticks. Man. I think I'm just going to march forward here. I know we're not fully healthy, but let's run outpost. Let's go for tempo, baby. Yeah, raiders seem a little bit OP. Honestly, if this was like one unit every time you clicked, would that maybe still be strong enough? Maybe they have to tweak some of the other numbers. I don't know. It does seem really strong. I don't know what to do with just these two raiders, though.
Maybe I'll just park them in Alexandria until we can get... We're close to using... To having enough XP for the Outriders. And then we can throw two more Raiders in this army. I've uh, I've been exploiting Raiders in every single my, one of my runs as well. This is actually the least effective run with these Raiders. Like, this is making Raiders look almost balanced. In my Sweden run... <laughs> It was so stupid. So we could go and burn down this town. But we could also just ignore it and beat up uh, Nico. Although I think the towns might... Did they say that they give a defensive bonus? Yeah, improved defense for the regional capital. So burning down the town first would make it a little easier to take out the capital. Age of Iron, four turns. Eureka, 10 tech. Would shave two turns off of this. That gets really close. Or we local reforms. I don't think that would work out better. Trying to figure out how can we get the Age of Blood. I mean, the thing is, the Eureka is never going to be bad here. Even if it doesn't force the Age of Blood, it still is advancing our tech. Let's give that a try and see what happens here. Maybe we can hurt their tech rate. Yeah, there's some unrest brewing in New York. Uh, I mean, they're, all, they're at a 12 here, but it is going up. If it, It's going up very slowly. If we, we just build maybe one defensive unit in New York, we'll be okay. Okay, since I'm kind of... I'm a little bit worried that this town is going to be harder to hit because of this. But I want to kind of slow down their research by smacking them in the face. Oh! Oh! Again, it's Spain. Never mind. It's, I just see the red flag with a yellow icon, and that's as far as I look. Oh, well. Still, this looks like it's going to work. <laughs> see, Rome, this could have been avoided if she just hadn't settled close to me. No, we were going to war them anyway. Beauty Hut. I will take Government XP, which does give us the ability to get another Settler. There might be room for a Settler here. I might. I think I'm just going to sit on it for now. I like how Pillage does give us the 1.2 attack versus Militia units, which are the things defending the cities. That's insane. But it's quite pricey, so I'm going to go for the Outriders now. Just to generate two more Raiders, and then we have another band of... Oh, these are not Raiders. These are Spears. Still, we have another band of four ready to go and just kill, maim, destroy. All the improvements here have been pillaged, and I can't repla repair them uh, because this is a vassal. I think Nicomedia here would be an excellent thing for us to integrate. It's very far from New York, so it gives us a distant area that we can spawn units from, sort of separately. Um, it's got a lot of free space around it. I suspect this is going to get integrated when we get a chance. Now, if we were generating um, diplomacy, I think diplomacy XP, we could um, increase its integration meter quite a lot faster, because now it needs 50, because I believe... I don't know what it's actually scaled on. Maybe it might be the population. Yeah, no. Because these needed 15, 20. This needs 50 over here. Alexandria needs 50. Maybe it's because it was foreign territory. Still, maybe we'll do this. Um, ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, you're going to keep coming down here. Groovy. The scout. Keep scouting over here. Nice land over here. Maybe it'll be mine soon. Who knows? Could be distance from capital. That's a good point. Doesn't say in the tooltip, which is unfortunate. All right, we're going to loop some barbs. Rah. And Scott's going to move over that way. You're going to join here. Um, right, I don't have enough for reinforcements. All the next turn I will, just for a fast heal on that, which might be worthwhile. What do we do with you? Explore over here. There's more barbs. We got a unit. Do I just do the long hike over to the Zulu land and start taking it? I'd love to wreck Spain. But unfortunately, I can't find them. Maybe because I'm getting confused about their flag all the time. I guess I may as well move north.
Yeah, I'm gonna go and do a little heal injection here. One of its militia was still dead, which is good. Um, yeah, I think I'm, well, do I keep you, actually? Oh, no, you got a lot of fish, which is gonna be great for growth. Although, if I was gonna do option one, now would be the time to do it. The reason is, when the chaos meter gets reset, it gets reset to 30% of its value. So we'd be going up to plus 50 chaos, but we'd immediately lose 30% of that very quickly. But, this seems fine. Fish and olives. Mm, sounds delicious. Welcome to the party. We're here to build an empire. That means we need more. Just always more. Rush. Chaos, rebellion. The vassals of the nation in the United States have rebelled against their rulers. If we accept, a bunch of rebels spawn everywhere. Maybe this is fine. We don't have a lot of units parked in, these, in the uh, the vassals, presumably. Uh, no, on capital region targets. Okay, so this would all spawn around New York, which currently doesn't have any units defending it. This is more warfare points. Or we can just spend it. We might be fine. Like, if I bring these units back home and there's a road, maybe I can get there in time. I can spawn something with government, but not much. The tribal stuff. We did save the money for this, but I'm not sure this one is disastrous. I think we can deal with it. Money, better things to do with better gold. Um, I'm gonna reject the open borders. Although that doesn't rhyme, we probably need to threaten you. Wait, did you spawn here? It said capital. Did it not say capital? I mean, I know it said vassal in the description. It said capital regions, but. This is a capital region, this is a vassal region. I guess capital just meant every city? Okay, I think we go back and we take the money instead. As in not towns. We're just gonna reload from the autosave. Yeah, when I thought I was gonna spawn a handful of raiders around uh, New York, I was like, oh, this is fine. But no, we'll just pay. And as I said, the chaos events are really bad, so usually I just save up money to avoid them. And I was like, this this sounds doable, but <laughs> peek down here. Age of Blood! Age of Blood! And we might get a different event because it's firing on a different turn. No, yeah, undo only works for movement. It didn't undo there. So we got a different event this time. Spawn two barbarian warlords at each region for all nations. See, now it says for each region. It didn't say for capital region, it said for each region. So this I would perceive as for all my vassals and everything too. Interesting that it's for all nations. Ruins everything for everyone. But I'll just pay to avoid this one because we're fairly rolling in place and that's okay. I like the idea of screwing with AI, but I think this is better. I think the, ba the background change read, yeah, United States. It took our research first. Age of Blood! All nations are locked into war during the Age of Blood. Unwar unrest from warfare is disabled, and chaos gained from conquering regions is reduced by 50%. Military units are reduced upkeep. Earn warfare XP by killing non-barbarian units. New government unlocks. We just made it. And there you go. Age of Blood. New domain available arts and age introduces new governments. Lovely. So we have our tribal government and I'm not bothering with the raised tribal army. So we could with our government 
do a violent revolution. I think we'll probably just wait until the culture fills up and we use a peaceful re revolution instead. Well, let's take a look at the text under the Age of Blood, and that will probably... I don't know, we might go a little long today. So, Age of Blood. Now, some of these are the same as the normal age, and some of the things are the same but with different names. But there is a couple of unique things. So, we got smelting. I th as far as I know, this is perfectly... This is the same as you normally get, because I think this is kind of important. This lets you convert ingots into tools. It lets you, oh, the furnace lets you turn copper or iron into ingots, and then the toolsmith turns ingots into tools, which gives you production. Very nice. Alternatively, we've got the weaponsmith, which turns ingots into spears, which gives you XP. So, generally speaking, turning the raw ore into ingots, really good. And then you can choose if you want more production or if you want more warfare XP. I usually go for the production just because it's pretty handy, but we'll see. Horses! Cavalry units. Cool. Influence in all region go up. Cool. And just a flat one-time injection warfare XP. Fine. Brutality! Look at that art. Bloodstone. This is an upgrade from the wooden walls, which we never got around to building anyway. Provides... Or did we? Anyway. Provides defensive unit bloodstone walls. So there'd be a unit that is a wall in combat. Bloodstone. We also get the Skull Towers. The improvement over our scout towers gives exploration XP, more capital attack, defensive unit, vision, yada, yada, yada. And then we get here, melee units gain 250% attack against siege targets. So apparently we can blow up catapults and stuff really well. Preservation. We might go for this one first because this one... Uh, salt House. We have a lot of meat in our capital. Salt House lets us convert meat into salted meat, doubling its nutrition. That might be a thing. Also, get mid in here, which helps us get sanitation. As our cities are growing, they're going to have a new need for sanitation. So we might need access to that sooner rather than later. The granary here, just you just build it. You get 15 more food. It's an upgrade over the food storage. It also gives an extra region level, which means our cities can have a higher population cap. It's not too bad. And then the oven here is for flour. So if we build if we build things that generate wheat or rice. We can mill it into flour. This turns flour into bread. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of food. And then at the top over here, increase the number of towns a region can support. Weirdly, like, this is so bizarre. Normally, I'm, like, building towns very early. We haven't built a single town yet in this run, which is strange to me. And yet, things seem to be going okay, I'm just saying. War Council. Sk scriptorium. It's building produces knowledge. Just the library. Fine. It's cool. Useful. Sure. Paper maker. Um, yeah. So paper maker, this is something else we could do with our logs. This converts a log, which is currently giving us production, into paper, which gives us wealth. So we lose some production, but gain a bunch more money. We will also have something, I don't know if it's actually under this technology or if it's going to come later. Yeah, there we go. The War Council here converts paper into manuscripts, which is worth knowledge. Now, at this stage in the game, I'm not sure that's worthwhile. So what we do is... We build one building, what like one, we do one tile improvement that uses a person to generate a log. Then we build another tile improvement that uses another population to produce a paper. Then we produce another improvement that takes another person to end up with a single bonus knowledge. Three tiles and three population of your city for one knowledge. Because it's consuming everything else, it's converting it. Later on, we get better versions of this. And maybe it's maybe part of the problem is the War Council is worse than like the Age of uh, Iron version of it. I'm not sure. Later on, we get much better versions of this that convert more things and, and whatever. Um, but yeah, you also get XP, but there's a billion buildings that give XP. The whole production chain seems weak to me. I'm not sold on this one at this stage. The improved versions, maybe. Yeah, this gets Diplomacy XP. Sure, but lots, like most buildings give you some XP. Like lots of buildings give you XP. So I'm not, I'm not sold on this particular chain. But maybe, maybe I'm undervaluing it. Maybe I'm undervaluing the XP contribution. <laughs> books are weak. Warriors do not read books. Anyway, Gladiators. Proving Ground. On unit build, Scout Cavalry Warband, da, 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 plus 10 combat XP. So your units start off with more XP. Cool, fine, sure. Fighting pit. This also, uh, this is an improvement. You build it on a tile. It gives you six unrest suppression, which is 
pretty convenient. Some wealth generation by itself, just automatically. And then if you work it, it gives you warfare XP and more wealth. I mean, this is valuable in that it's an improvement that doesn't even have to be worked. That's kind of nice. And if you do work it, you get some extra benefits. Barbarism. Enlist barbarians. Convert a barbarian unit to fight for your nation. Spawn barbarian warlord. Spawns a friendly barbarian warlord unit, which has got 22 attack, 22 defense. I mean, so warfare domain power. We spend warfare XP to do it, but that's pretty cool. Create barbarian encampment. Creates barbarian encampment and barbarian warlord on target neutral territory. Now, I don't think this one is going to be friendly. I might be wrong. Someone might be able to clarify that. But I think what we're using this for is to like barbarian bomb your, bomb your enemies. Now, in terms of what do we research first? Uh, if we had metal already, I'd want smelting, but we don't. I'm thinking preservation just because we have so much meat. And New York is currently not capped on its food production. And we might want to move what, you know, what it's working in a few places. Um, I mean, ooh, we do have uh, we do have iron and we do have some coal over here, which is going to be very interesting. Create barbarian encampment and visit it for loot. I mean, maybe. Preservation is bacon, and who doesn't love bacon, right? I think I'm going to do that. There's a lot of really good stuff in preservation that I think is non-optional. So engineering domain power is now unlocked. Uh, you can use the spawn pioneers, which lets you build more outposts. You can use it to expand a town, so level up a town. You can also use it to repair a burnt down town, which is kind of handy. And public improvements just let you convert engineering XP into improvement points. Now, the cost for this goes up the more you use it. So we'll want to use this a bunch at some point. Right now, we do have some improvement points to use. Um, right now, New York is working all function. Like every tile it's working, I believe, is improved. Yeah, no one's working grasslands or scrublands, which is good. If we're going to do anything, it's probably going to be the um, the, the preservation, the, the salted meat thing. Um, so I'll probably just wait for now. Speaking of food, do you have food plans? Might attempt you with food tin. We do not actually have food plans for today. That That is true. We do not have food plans today. Also, I kind of sort of accidentally set the kitchen on fire yesterday. Okay, not totally. Um... I did, um, I was, I got a, a pan fairly hot, put a little oil in, just a little, and the pan wasn't that hot, I didn't think, but it's cast iron pan, so it kept a lot, and when I put some meat in, it sort of splashed a little bit of, of grease, so there was a little bit of a puff up of flame, which is fine, rehearsed this in my mind tons of times, you cover it, it's okay, and it wasn't like I was deep frying, it wasn't a huge amount of that, just a little bit of a puff up, and it's like, oh, let, let's put a lid on that, just to be careful, but some of it splashed and hit the, um, uh, the exhaust, like, fan vent, the hood above it, and like that grate there sort of got hit by it. And there was a little fire in there. I was like, I freaked out that I panicked after that. The rest of it was like, no, this is fine. That was, was bad. So I'm like, ended up just like taking out that fan and it was okay. It was all good. But there was a moment of panic, certainly. But I guess it was organized panic. Um, Age of blood. So we're at war with everyone. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Spain's somewhere out there. The only red flag left. Now the next thing's going to happen is going to get confused between the Zulu and Brazil. You know what? We're just going to keep eliminating people that have flags that are too similar to other people. So we have to take out Zulu because it's green background with something gold on it. So and that'll get me confused with Brazil. Unacceptable. Persia. Maybe Persia is fine with the white. That might be okay. Yeah, let's go down here just to see what's there. Oh, Barbarian encampment there. That'll be helpful to boop. Meanwhile... Random barbs. Why not get rid of Brazil? I don't know where they are yet. Oh, it's Sahara Desert. I may as well go and boop this unit on the way. Wait, did I reveal another unit over here? No, okay. Welcome to New York. So this is an upgrade for the Dolmen. We're going to be replacing the Dolmen with Civic Monument. It generates twice as much influence, although presumably might also give us a one-time a, a one 100 influence boost, which is actually kind of handy. We could finally get some walls and some lookouts, especially if I'm not keeping some units back here. If suddenly some barbarians start spawning in this area, some passive defense wouldn't be the worst thing in the universe. I think I can live without Diplomacy XP. 
The encampment is more warfare XP, which we are using for our government choice. The watch is unrest reduction. I think we can, we've got some unrest, but we can also just build a few units. Yeah, maybe, you know what? Maybe we'll just wait until we get the blood walls and blood and the skull towers and just build those directly. Let me build one city guard. So the city guards have um, greater unrest reduction. So if we take a look at, say, a spear, spear over here has an unrest reduction of four. A city guard has an unrest reduction of eight. And so just as, as an unrest reduction is kind of handy, although right now, literally any unit will eliminate all of it. Um, we could also pop down a crossbow. Crossbows do have the bonus against line attackers, and which that's most of what we're going to be facing now. A single crossbow would actually generate so much damage output. We just park it in New York. Or the next time we spawn some raiders, the crossbow and the raiders move out together. Hmm. How much berserk does civil unrest reduction? Oh, the berserker. Uh, four. I think four is the standard. And then you get double for the things that are meant for city unrest reduction. Yeah, all the units seem to have a reduction of four currently. So Berserkers are attack 10, defense 12, which honestly isn't the most impressive. They do have 999 morale, so they'll never break. They Oh, they have triple attack against line attacks, at line units. So they would also obliterate just regular melee fighters. It's pretty entertaining too. I like these buildings. The crossbows are gonna be death machine. Like, yeah, I guess I'm, thank you. That's so perfect. So we sometimes it takes 30 minutes, sometimes it takes up to an hour to arrive. What I'll, I think that'll be, I'll go a little long today. We'll wait for that to arrive. We'll have a bite on stream, obviously. And then maybe that'll be a good time to wrap it up because I do want to stream tomorrow, starting at 2 p.m. Eastern time, same as today. I want to stream more of this tomorrow and I don't want to burn out my voice. So we got to pace ourselves here. Pacing with Putin. So crossbow is the same strength as your bow and would be with your plus three... Well, the Raiders get plus three, plus three. The Berserker doesn't. I know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna build one. I'm gonna feel much safer if I've got that. And Wednesday, in theory, will also be more Millennia. My plan right now is to stream Millennia maybe every day this week. No promises, but certainly today, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll stream. Thursday, Friday, we'll see. Numbers are pretty good. People are hyped. Uh, oh, right, this unit was just moving down here. Well, oh, there's two barbarian encampments. Wow, all right, that's fine. So part of me wants to just deal with this because it's in the way, but I should probably go and just conquer some cities immediately. Medium, medium, ooh. Okay, but we've got a second unit to come in as well. Smash. Why not increase some of your assholes? Um, I could. I definitely want to uh, do Nicomedia. I think it's in a great place. It's a big city. Oh, they've got archers. Oh, oh, but that's okay. We conquered it anyway. Um, I think we're going to do that, but we have to wait for it to do the integration. We could do this, but it costs government power, which I do have, actually. You know what? You're right. I do have the government power. I wasn't used to having it because we were spending it, but we do now. If we do, which do we integrate? I'm less keen on doing the ones that are in the middle because their borders don't have a lot of options. So I'm thinking Belfast. Oh, let's take the Warfare XP. Bam. There we go. 1.2 attack versus militia units now, and we get some more Raider bands, which is great. I'm thinking Belfast or Megara because they're sort of on our edges. Um, yeah, and both of them could be done right now. I think I quite like to train around Belfast. I think I'd like to take control over here. Yeah, Megara might get attacked, so might this. They do have some defense. I'm gonna have to send some units. I'll probably send some of these guys. Actually, we just spawned some raiders here. They're gonna deal with that. I mean, Belfast isn't that pro strongly defended either, but. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, just keep running. 
Oh, we're at war with everyone, remember that. We might just lose this guy. I mean, I could teleport him home. I'm not married to the scout existing long term. He's handy, but he's not a big deal. We just run straight over here. I kind of think we do. Belfast. Okay, currently needing some food. Um, we do have a lot of improvement points as well we could drop. You had no improvements so far. Okay, we're going to start off. We're going to definitely build a plantation over here. And accrue some rice. Um, that gives you enough needs here for your one person, which is good. We'll probably, I mean, we're going to build more things here in the mountains quite quickly. Probably the mine. I'll put a reminder there, but your population is only one, but now you're at least growing. So that's going to be good. Um, the food stockpile would also give us more food production. Um, what I'll probably do though, is probably look to boost your actual production right now. Yeah, I think I'll do a work camp first. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't currently have, um, I don't have the import export slots unlocked right now, so I can't send things between our cities yet. Go and boop this fool. Okay. Why don't just chill here for a second, heal up. We'll send you out again. You're... Okay, you're not out of movement. Oh, that's looking good. We've taken some damage here, there's, but... We can still go and smash. Can you reach here? Oh, you can. Um, although, we've got an enemy unit right next to us. We should probably purge you, because I don't expect the city... Oh, it does have two militia. Hang on, I want the tooltip back for the city. City Militia 3 times 2. We actually might be fine alone. Hey, you know what? And if you're not, we can just go and reclaim you. It's fine. Boom! Zulus have been eliminated. There we go. One less flag for me to get confused about. Oh. Well, the scout might not be long for this world. But again, that's okay. Still have the scout tower so we can do some bombards. One thing is I wish um, the bombard from the cities, the capital. So we do get a note for it. Hey, shout out to like old Sib6 that took him like two years to put it in a patch where we get an alert for city attack. Um, it comes after your unit movement. So, and I would like it the other way around because you get a prompt for like, you know, your units are idle and you're like, oh, I'll attack this guy. And then after it's like, oh, by the way, the city could have bombarded. It's like, Right, I want to bombard first. Now you can do it manually. You can click on the city and then you can click the, the capital attack button. But I kind of wish the reminders were coming in in inverted order. Diplomacy screen check for next flag to kill. Again, I mean, maybe we have to get rid of either Brazil or Persia because they've got green flags. At least everyone got, else has got a unique color. So yeah, culture, peaceful revolution, probably. I could integrate someone else too. But we don't have enough improvement points to be improving more than one city right now, so I probably won't do that. New York is going to need some extra tile improvement soon, too, so. And I'll just wait for a minute. Okay. So again, here, I'd be like cycling through all my units. And at some point, it would be like, oh, yeah, I can move this unit. But then also, oh, I don't want to see the battle screen again. Oh, I guess there's actually nothing within bombard range for this one. Uh, but here, oh, you don't actually have a bombarding thingy. All right. You come over here and smack this dude. Remove him from the game. And you remove him from the game, please. Thank you very much. Hi. Okay. No, I didn't mean to attack. I was just trying to dismiss a flag.
Just chill in Megara for a bit and reheal yourself. Oh yeah, and you've got like all these barbarian cannons. We do have a scout in this army, which isn't ideal, but it's gonna be fine. Oh yeah, I could have undone. It is interesting you can undo after a combat. I was thinking you could undo after a move. I didn't realize you could undo after combat. That would be nice for a misclick like that. But fine now. The problem is, and this is a bit of a design issue. Uh, give me diplomacy here. Um, when you've got a unit, things you can attack have the little orange um, shields on them as targets, but also like battle records have shields as well. And with the way that I see things or don't see things, sometimes I don't notice the difference between one and the other. Well, the Aztecs are right over there, right? I mean, they're in, they're on my continent. I think we should probably just go and punch them in the face. Bothers me a little that I'm leaving some barbarian camets over here, but you know. And they're kind of blue like me. So obviously we're going to have to conquer them. So again, as I said, the, uh, the Raiders national idea might be a little OP and I think might need a balance pass. It is possible that the build that I'm on, and I've been told that it's it's basically the release version. Oh, I'm going to spend my Raiders XP, uh, my Warfare XP. Um, I've been told that it's basically the release version, but it's possible that some things have changed, and so I'm not sure. I could just do a heal, or I could just spawn a bunch of Raiders. There's no cooldown on this either, which is ridiculous. Cost goes up a little bit, but yeah. This is a normal sized map. It is a continents map though. So there's a whole other continent out there of people to kill. I mean, meat. Who attacked me in Pittsburgh? Oh, probably this jackass. If I just move here, you're gonna you're gonna want to attack me. So I'll just do that. Um, bad by us coming here. We're gonna start spawning raiders in this area just to make sure this city's okay. Just wait here. We'll give you some more friends next turn. Is the balance of chaos regenerating? I mean, maybe, but the thing is like the Raiders so naturally transition into Age of Blood, which has reduced chaos generation. Now, Age of Blood also reduces unit upkeep and my Raiders are free. That's like the other thing with the Raiders thing, right? Raiders are free, like, what? Oh, we lost this outpost? Oh, fuck, that's annoying. That is annoying. Outposts don't really defend themselves. You can uh, specialize an output into a castle, which does. But yeah, I also hate it when my, my cities get plundered, my towns. At least you can rebuild them with the engineering. I guess the engineer can go and spawn another pioneer and rebuild the outpost too. I guess it's kind of the same. Hmm, I don't think I've got to move anyone south. I guys got these units for now. Oh, there are barbarian encampments over here. So actually, I think I'm going to spawn raiders here. Get a nice squad of four raiders. Move out of here to do that. Oh, barbarian encampment right there. That's done. Let's go and pop this while we're here. Clean up our, our new backyard. Spawn longsword for chaos. No, we got enough chaos. I'm going to take the production. Say New York was hungry. Oh, yeah, it's only 100% needs. Oh, it needs housing mostly. But yeah, we can do that. Let's go civic. Let's build a dwelling there. It can use a little bit more food, too. First of all, we may as well get this plantation here. But, oh, right, the big thing is we're waiting for the uh, the smoked meats thing to come in. Yeah. And, yeah, we left some uh, barbarian encampments sort of untouched here in uh, in this area when we're rushing through. Give me time to clean it up. Clean up. Let me just boop you. Hope you don't target my guy with no hit points. No, we're good. Excellent. <coughs> Chill here for now. And, right, mine reminder, but I already spent. Oh, there you are.
spawn more raiders. Now, uh, now the spawn raiders is getting pretty expensive, and I want to finish this because obviously this is also giving me raiders and is quite good in general. But I think it was worth doing this. Uh, I guess I should just attack you, shouldn't I? Oh, maybe did someone else did the dupe on two warlords every cap. Oh, I don't know about warlords. These barbarian encampments just existed kind of when we got here. But maybe they spawned back there. I find that every time you enter a new age, there tends to be a new wave of barbarians. One of our towns got burned down, which is annoying. Every region in the United States. No, we'll just pay for that. That's why we keep the money around, and we'll probably take the money from this innovation. All right, New York actually is getting a little unresty, but now this is going to go down with our unit, although admittedly quite slowly. I could build a watch, just get a bunch of passive unrest suppression, but I'm just wondering if more units is the way to go. Let's build the Civic Monument to get some more border push. Yeah, you just chill here. Okay, bad guys are gone. Just rest for now. Over here in Clerics and Encampments. Uh, yeah, Warfare XP, please. Engineer XP is excellent, but we're actively consuming Warfare XP right now, so that's the thing to do. Die, 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 die. Oh, he didn't die. Okay. Hello, victors. Plus 20% health gain from victory. Yep. We want that running, plus the new units too. Oops. Hang on, let me undo that misclick. Undo button, baby. Uh, Leipzig was probably a neutral city. I, I don't know, I don't remember Germany as an actual faction in here, but this could have been a neutral. <coughs> We're going to run a little longer because we got some Putin coming. We're going to run until the Putin treat stream shows up. So yeah, a little bit long. Oh, yeah, the last Raider tech costs one. Running on autopilot, right? Click the button, close the window. Yeah, we'll just get this. Social fabric, which doesn't exist yet. Gives us plus one XP per turn. And yeah, just gives us the legacy, the ability to train units, use power expires. But yeah, done, done, done. Just lock that in. Finish that. Nicely wrapped up. So now all our warfare points can go into basically this stuff. This, I'm still not care about tribal army because it just spawns war bands, which we don't need. Oh, should I get a prospector going somewhere for some gold? Hell fast. There's gold in them dar hills. Or there will be in a second. So right now you're working this extra grassland. Yeah, let's we're probably going to want to get some extra food going or something. Well, okay, hold on. You're producing rice. This will also produce rice. Oh, we don't have mills or anything like that. I mean, I could turn the rice into wine, but that's... I think we need to focus on food for Belfast. Okay. We'll look into you a little bit later. All right, more units are go, including that crossbow. Where do we want to move you out? I mean, I like the idea of having some defenders in New York. Actually, I might want to just keep you here for now just to help burn down this unrest and give us a better buffer. Yeah, let's leave the extra units in here for a few turns. I don't need more War for XP to finish my Raiders now. Arts. What would Arts give us right now? Because I can't look at it because we don't actually have it started. Barbarians left behind beautiful tapestries. I mean, they've got to be tapestries of like people dying and burning. Kind of want to keep them. So reduce unrest. Immigration, which boosts the region population.